Okay, I'm gonna try to do a ride and drive video on a stick shift with manual steering and hold a phone at the same time. So if I screw up, I apologize in advance because I'm honestly not the most coordinated guy in the world. So if I drop the phone, I promise I'll pick it right back up. But we are driving a 1967 GTO with 24,000 miles. Shift one, go to second. Third. This car drives amazing. Super tight. This is a car you can get in and I wouldn't drive it home because I wouldn't want to put the miles on it if you live a thousand miles away. But if it's your car, if you want it, then you can do what you want to do. The interior on this car is pretty close to immaculate. Green light. There we go. gauge work, brake light works when you have the emergency brake on, the emergency brake works. Gas hand works. Try to cigarette lighter. I don't know if it works or not. Radio works on it. We do have the original red line bi-supply tires that came on the car new. Date coated that matches the car. Cigarette lighter don't work. But as you know, if you watch any of my videos before, I try to pick out all the flaws on the car because 99% of the cars that we sell are shipped. We don't physically get to see the customer unless they want to come in. So we try to describe them the best we can, sometimes over describe them. That way you're pleasantly happy when you get the car. I'm running 55 mile an hour now up the hill. Kinds of response. Stay back. I don't want to get rock chips all over the place. Could use a boot cover. Just put the walls on there for you. Blower motor works. It don't have AC, but we've got the fan blowing on it. Turn signals work. Disadvantage of being in Eastern Kentucky is this is an economy in front of me. This is how we they make a living here, but it's also hard on old cars when you get behind them. But people need to pay bills, people need to eat, so we're fine with that. Coal was really big here up till 2008, and coal industry declined really heavily. But it was, you know, that's what jobs were. Just uh. Coal business and car lots, pretty much what we always said. I was a coal miner for about a year. And God bless the men that do it today and did it then because, man, it's a rough job. I lost my, my great grandfather, was killed in the mines. My, my grandfather was crippled in the mines. And I just didn't want to follow in those footsteps. So I got in the car business. 1993. Great oil pressure. It's 100 degrees here today.
here to the Pike County International Airport. And nope, he's not turning. You got to do a little walk around. Turn her in here. A little bit of angle there. Sorry about that. Time for the walk around segment of this 1967 GTO sitting on original wheels with a little could be a good rich TAs on it. Like I said earlier, we've got the original tires from 67 down there in the car or in the garage. She got a few little nicks here, it needs to be touched up. One there. I've got a touch up lady that come by and, and do some paint correction on her. She just not came yet. So you can see it as we got it. Show you inside that we were just sitting in. Dome light works. I need the key so I can open the trunk. She's got a couple of spots. The bottoms are nice. She's had one repaint that we can tell in the restoration. This car was one family owned forever. Got a little dust on it. She's got a little spot here in the paint on the scene. Got a couple of bubbles there. She is numbers matching. Got a little rock chip here and he's touched up. Got Miss Cindy walking up. Say hi, Miss Cindy. You're supposed to say hi. She said hi to everybody. My ride or die right there. Keeps us in line. Keeps the books going with the classic appraisal business that we have. We're going to do a shoe little commercial for here in just a minute. Little high tech rig cell phone commercial, but it's still going to be something for us. No bubbling or anything down the rockers, quarters. That's nice on the windshield, which is where they rust out at a lot. Hey, can you hold the phone for me just a second while I pop through? Okay. That way I'm not shaking all over the place. Ha <laughs> I know I get it. It's only the second time I've ever had the hood up on it. This car does come with a build sheet, protector plate. Original invoice from new, and all the other goodies. I have a picture of the cow tag if you guys want it. Check, 
chew this. The chips need to be touched up there. Overall, a super nice, solid 67 GTO. Ready for a new owner. There you guys go. Hope this helps. Anything we can do to help you out, just let us know. We have financing available up to 96 months with approved credit as little as 10% down. We also just looking to sell it, but looking to trade on it. Just it needs a new home, and we need to be the adoption agency to help you guys out. Thank you guys for checking it out. May God bless you all this weekend. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.